Hey, it's podcast episode number 200 on The Anxious Truth. 200. I'm amazed. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Please indulge me. You see there's no intro music. There's no slick opening. I'm not going to talk about my books and that sort of stuff. I just want to take 10 or 12 minutes and chat with you sort of informally and reflect a little bit about where the podcast has been since its inception in 2014, where it is now and kind of where we're going. And I want to talk to you about how you can participate in setting that direction and determining where we go from episode 201 and onward. So grab a coffee or tea or whatever beverage you want and pull up a chair, get comfortable, and let's just chat a little bit. And then I promise next week we'll be back to our regular programming. So when I started this podcast in 2014, the podcast was originally entitled That Anxiety Guy. So if you're sort of new and you're listening to old episodes and you hear that name, same podcast, just with a different name. And the funny story about that is when I did not know what to name the podcast, and I really had no plans for the podcast at all, I wanted to do something to pay forward some of the help that I had gotten online when I needed it. I thought a podcast might be a good idea. I'm pretty comfortable speaking. So I said, all right, I'm going to do a podcast. I had no idea what podcasts were. Nobody cared back then. So I, I fired up my little $4 podcast app on my crappy iPhone, whatever iPhone it was in 2014, and I started talking. And I know I needed a name. I didn't know what to name the podcast. And one night I saw a promo on TV for That 70s Show, which interestingly enough, I have never seen. I've never even seen a minute of That 70s Show. But of course I knew about it because it was an incredibly popular TV show at the time. And I thought, oh, I'm going to name the podcast That Anxiety Guy. And it sort of stuck. But I never really liked it. Like I just never really liked the name. It was a default name. And I kind of didn't care because I, I really had no plans for this this thing, this podcast. I recorded my first 15 or 20 episodes. Those are sort of the foundational episodes. I kind of went dark and I would talk about stuff when I kind of felt like it. But two things happened. And that is I met Holly. So you guys have seen Holly in some of the earlier episodes. She is one of the admins in my Facebook group. And Holly and I met when we were both admins in the panic disorder Facebook group. And we decided to do a series of episodes where we went through and sort of guided people through the Claire Weeks book, uh, book, Hope and Help for Your Nerves. And we did nine of those. And those were proved to be very popular, both as podcast episodes and YouTube videos. And then right around that time, also, my friend Billy Cross, and Billy runs Anxiety United in the UK. You guys might know Billy, too. Uh, Billy and I, he was one of my very first recovery friends that I met back in like 2007 or 2008. And we've been working together on various things, some mental health related, some not. Ever since then, I'm, I'm proud to say I'm still Billy's friend. And we still talk. So Billy and I decided that we would take an article that I had written probably back in 2006 or 2007, somewhere in that neighborhood, and we would turn that into a series of podcast episodes, and we would call it Anxiety 101, because this article that I wrote, which is actually on my website, and I'll put that in the show notes if you want to check it out, that article kind of laid out the foundation of the recovery process. And so we broke it down, and we made maybe 10 or 12 episodes out of that, and that extended because people were liking it. And we did, I think, 20 or 22 episodes of Anxiety 101. And so those two series, the one with Holly and the one with Billy, were actually quite popular. But then when those ended, again, it sort of died out because the podcast was just something I sort of did when I thought of it. I had no plan. I was not consistent with it. It wasn't a priority. It just when I thought I had something to say, I would fire up the mic and put in an episode. Okay. But at the same time, the social media community, especially the Facebook group, was growing. So it was growing and growing and getting more vibrant and engaged. And that spurred a lot of discussions and brought up a bunch of topics to the point where around 2018, I decided to get involved again. I had things that I felt like I wanted to say. And I think there had been a year since the last episode. And when I fired up the podcast to go and start again, I was completely taken aback to find out how many reviews, like beautiful, lovely, glowing reviews there were and, and how highly rated the podcast was. I had never considered that for a million. I, I had no idea whether anybody was listening or watching or anything. I, it's just, it wasn't a thing for me. But when I saw how engaged the audience was, I got interested again. So I just started podcasting regularly. So for the past three and a half, now almost four years, I have put out, I guess about three and a half years, I put out an episode every week, almost religiously. Really mostly over the last, say, two years, two and a half years. But I got back into it in 2018 or so and started becoming more consistent. And it has just grown since then. And the podcast in 2019 was renamed from that anxiety guy to the anxious truth. 
And if my friend Mike Rando is listening, Mike, I don't know if you are, but thank you because he was the guy that came up with that name. Mike's a good dude. And I asked a bunch of people in my Facebook group, hey, you got to rename the podcast. What should we call it? And he came up with the anxious truth. So I renamed the podcast in 2019. That's why today it's the anxious truth. And in the past, it was that anxiety guy. Same, same podcast, just same guy, different name. And here we are. And here we are doing episode number 200. Now, when I recorded that very first episode, in a million years, I would have never expected it to be where it is now. Like, I would never have expected it to be where it is now. The podcast has been downloaded well over 2 million times. I don't even know. I don't, I don't watch anymore. Um, my podcast host tells me that we are now going over 125,000 listens every month now across the whole catalog of episodes, which is a mind boggling number to me. I'm, I'm, I can't even fathom that number. Now, clearly, I'm not Joe Rogan. There are podcasts that get millions and millions of listens probably every week. But 125,000 listens every every month here. It's it's something else I can't even imagine. And the social media community around the podcast has grown and grown and grown and gotten more vibrant and engaged. And it's been amazing. Frankly, it's been amazing. It has spawned three books. And now we have the morning newsletter that's out at, at the anxious morning. Uh, it's been great. It's been great. This podcast, to be totally honest with you, has really been driven by you guys, by the audience. So when I saw you interested and in talking about different things, it sparked my interest. And then that just snowballs. Because the more I listen to you talk, the more I have to say, and the more I, the more I have to say, the more you talk back to me. And I just love it. Like this podcast is 100% powered by you. There's no doubt in my mind, if we stop talking, and I just start talking at you instead of with you, we're done. So the one of the great privileges has been the ability to talk not only to you, but with you, especially over the last three years or so when things have started to snowball. And it has led to where it is now. Astounding. This podcast, driven by you, has really changed my life. Uh, if you had asked me three years ago, I would have told you, I'm a technology guy that has this podcast that I sometimes do. And next week, literally seven days from today, is my first day as a graduate student in clinical mental health counseling, where at the end of this program, I will be able to be licensed as a licensed psychotherapist mental health counselor here in the state of New York and whatever other states in the U.S. I decide to get licensed in, which is astounding to me. I cannot imagine that I am here, but here I am. And really, this podcast has been the catalyst that, that has moved me in this direction, a direction that I clearly belong in. There was no doubt in my mind. So now I am a mental health educator and guide and content creator and podcaster and author and graduate student headed toward working therapist that also happens to own some technology companies. So it is amazing how things have changed. I could not be happier about this, even though I resisted it for a while, because I didn't think that it was a real thing. But clearly, it's a real thing. And I'm incredibly happy to be in this position. And I have all of you to thank for that. Like you guys, this podcast, driven by you has changed my life in this way. And I'm, I'm never going to be able to say thank you enough. So I will just continue as we go forward here after episode 200 to try to pay you back as best I can. Because again, I, I cannot thank you enough for, for this, for all of this and where I am now. It's, I say that from the bottom of my heart. I mean it sincerely. So where does that leave us? Well, it puts me in a different place. Over the past couple of months, I've really had to kind of rework my life and really examine my schedule and look at where I'm spending my time and what I'm doing because full-time graduate school is no joke. I don't have the time available to me that I used to have. I need to make sure that I can put my energy into that thing and get to the end and get to where I want to be and get to where I continue to help. So I am producing a podcast every week that comes out every Wednesday. You're listening to one now. I produce a morning email newsletter, three to 500 words, shows up in everybody's email every weekday morning, and it's a little three-minute podcast that goes with that. We do that. I've written my three books. There are more books in the works, some of which are collaborative, some of which are my own. There's grad school. There's the, the social media community continues to grow and be more vibrant as we go. And I'm going to ask for your input. Like, where do we go from here? What topics have I missed? What do you want me to talk about a little more? Who do you want me to interview on the podcast? Who have I missed? I'm going to continue to work with the usual suspects, 
people that I, I admire. I love these are my friends. These are smart people, lovely people. You know them, the Joe Ryans, the Kim Quinlans, the Josh Fletchers, the Bridget Coopers. They'll still be here, but who else can I work with? If you have somebody you want me to talk to, let me know. If you have a topic you want me to address, let me know. If you think I missed something, let me know. So you guys know all the ways. You can comment on my Instagram post. You can get me in the Facebook group. You can get me on my Facebook page. You know, you know, you know where to go. YouTube comments. So just shout them out if you know. If you got topics, you got guests, you got things you want me to talk about, let's hear it because I want you guys to continue to steer this. For the most part, I'm sort of just the steward here. Uh, you know, you guys really, really steer this ship. I just make sure it stays in calm waters and, and, and you know, and, and going the direction you need it to go. That's my job here. So help me steer. Tell me what you want to see more of or what you want to see less of. That's that's fair, too. I'm, I'm all ears. I'm open. And I just wanted this work that I do to be as useful as I can be as it can be all the time. So that's why I'm going to ask for your participation here. And that's it. That's where I, that's where we've been. It's where we are. I think it's where we're going. We're going to continue to produce this podcast. We're going to continue to produce the morning newsletter. I'm going to continue to write and release the books as they are relevant and needed and useful, not just for the sake of it. And I'm going to continue to interact with you guys as much as I possibly can. Now, as my time gets more limited, some of that's going to start to change the way it looks. So the Anxious Truth community, which is something that I have been working on with some very smart people and very dedicated people for the last six or eight months is coming soon. And that will be a place that we can gather to have actual, meaningful, worthwhile, productive conversations about this topic and this content that is not governed by ridiculous social media algorithms that will only reward me and want me to do nothing more than hook your attention and hold on to it like hot death by any means necessary. And I'm just sort of done with that. So folks like me who are swimming in that social media algorithm can get very frustrated. And when my time becomes limited, it's really hard for me to try to have these discussions in a meaningful way when the only thing Facebook and Instagram wants me to do is keep your attention any way I can and keep you in that app. And I don't want to be in that business. And I don't want to drag you through that for their benefit. So we're going to find a new way to interact that I think everybody's going to like a whole lot better. So I will announce that at some point very soon. I know I've been kind of teasing it here and there, but it's been a while coming. And i am be happy to continue to produce this content and to have meaningful interaction with as many of you as possible in that environment where we can actually make a difference without lining the pockets of Facebook, Meta, Instagram, Google, whoever they happen to be. And there you go. That's where we are. That's where we're going. I want you to participate. Again, this podcast and you as a listener have changed my life. And I'm never going to be able to say thank you enough times. So I just want to pay it back as much as I can. And I'm going to keep going and doing that. So for those of you who have ever, you know, rated the podcast five stars or wrote a nice review or bought my books or reviewed those on Amazon and said very nice things or just followed me on social media and contributed your voice to the discussion, thank you. I, I'm never going to be able to repay you for that. And I, I will try, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But I'm happy to keep trying. So make your voice known. Let me know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. I will do my best to incorporate all of your suggestions into what we do going forward. And thank you. So here we go. Next week, episode 201. I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. But like I say every week, I'm going to be here. Thanks again, guys. And I, and I appreciate you letting me just like blab at you this week. See you next week.